so that you can be uh, your word can be accepted at any particular time. Secondly, play by the rules at all times. We are living in a world of uh, rules and regulations. So if you want to be a become a fair person, learn the rules. Play according to the rules. Do things according to the rules. And that is why you want the few sometimes. You hear some of you talking of it's not fair rev. That is not fair. Not only fair. Why? Because you have a feeling that the rev is not revving the officiating the game according to the rules of the game. And therefore for you to each one become a fair person. Play according to the rules of the game set at any given time. Three, think about how your action will affect the other. So do not be egocentric, that you are just thinking about yourself. Think about if I do this thing, how does it affect the other people I'm living with? And in that case, you will become a fair person. Fourthly, listen to people with an open mind. That do not have a prejudgment. When people come to you with whatever, whatever issue they have, listen to them, and from whatever uh, argument they put across, judge from that, so that they are not going to complain and put a portion of blame on you. Fifthly, do not blame others for your mistakes. You want to be a fair person, don't blame other people for the mistakes that you have done. Except, uh, expect to be treated according to the rules. So if you are treated according to the rules, or you treat others according to the rules, then they should accept what they are receiving because of the mistakes that they have done. Lastly, do not take advantage of other people. So in whichever position you are in, you may be a prefect, you may be the, uh, the officer officiating a particular man or doing, being uh, given a responsibility to something, then don't take advantage of other people. Just understand them and what is right to say, run them and it will be well with you. In this case, you have heard the cases where even in the institution, you have heard the principle, the principle of our institution, <coughs> whom we appreciate so much giving treatment to people according to the set rules that we have in, in, in our rules. That when it comes to performance, it puts it very clear that if you perform this way, this is how we are going to treat you. If you do not perform this way, this is how we are going to treat you. And therefore, the fairness has been put into practice right from the management of this school and we expect it to grow in us that we may become better people. Benefits of fairness in every culture. How would you benefit if you become a fair person? One, we are living in a community. We are living in a church. We are living in a school. And uh, in a school for us to work uh, cohesively, everyone must work with the others at mind. And with the fairness, it will help us to solve problems easily when they arise. It will help us to make a fun. It will help us to care for one another and to get it, uh, along with one another very well. Second benefit of uh, fairness. When you act with fairness, people will respect and uh, trust you. This is what is missing at the internet, but act with fairness, people will respect you and uh, trust you. So if you are on the wrong and I punish you, you are not going to hate me because I punish you because you are on the wrong. And if I'm just, and if I'm uh, fair to everybody, you are going to acknowledge, yes, I did the wrong thing, let me receive what, what the other I'm entitled to. Second, that is sorry. The virtue of fairness <coughs> brings about moral standards for decision making that affects others. Because we are living in a community with other people, we require fairness because we did about uh, 300 plus of, of uh, all of us. Everybody requires a fair treatment that we may move on well. And the decisions that are made are based on the fairness. Next, fairness gives everyone an equal chance to succeed. We do not have a prejudgment about you that you are a bad person. We don't have a prejudgment about you that you are a very good person. We go according to the situation that is there and we give everybody in a chance to succeed. And in the future, do the same. This is what you are going to grow in you. 
there has helped us to celebrate the uniqueness and the values that everyone has. We believe that each one of us has something maybe unique or different from the rest. You can only celebrate it. You can only acknowledge it through you are practicing the fairness and you accept that there is somebody who could be better than you in another area and you help us to live in a modern society. Lastly, it helps us to develop mutually supportive relationships with those who are around us. That with the people whom you stay with, you are able to look at each, uh, each person and be able to be our brother's keeper. You be able to support one another in whatever things that they are doing. And this one helps us in becoming better people. Biblically, from James uh, chapter 1, verse 2. James chapter 1, verse 2. My brother, show no partiality as you hold the faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. This is our mighty God through the word of God speaks to us. Show no partiality. That means be fair in every situation that faces you. Fought for the day. Fairness is such a valuable thing that no money can buy it by a lay rain. Uh, fairness is such a valuable thing that no money can buy. And finally, brethren, to close the, the, this uh, chapter, life may not be always fair to you, but you can always be fair in life. God bless you. Fairness, fairness, fairness. Let them tell us about fairness. And God bless you. Let us go.